What up, it's your boy Roy Jones Jr. Right now you're checking out Lineal Boxing TV with Verdi. Don't miss it, the man is fantastic. How have you been? I've been good, man. I've been good. Listen, it's a bit of headache not obviously getting out. But, uh, listen, as we say, we can't cry over it. Just got to get on with it. That's it. Looking good shape. Thank you. Looking big. Trying to, trying to. So, when are you out again? Well, we was meant to be out this evening, obviously, but we couldn't get an opponent. Now we're out on the 10th of December on a McKenzie show in uh, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. So it's just under two weeks. Yeah. So fingers crossed we get an opponent. So the last time you fought was in order shot. Is that order right? shot, yeah. That seems like a lifetime ago. Oh, that's calm, mate. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But listen, at the end of the day, that was a good experience. Got out there, got a nice victory. Was meant to be fighting a couple of weeks afterwards, then COVID kicked in. And that one, he. That, that, that wasn't even really a fight, was it? No. It, it just was it 10 seconds, wasn't it? Yeah, 10 seconds. I caught in cold tonight. Brutal knockout. Yeah. Oh, what a perfect platform then to push on, and then yeah, the world's got flipped upside down. That's it, isn't it? How did you find COVID, though? Did you manage to keep training? To or? be honest with you, I, I trained a little bit through COVID. And it was hard. Obviously, I put a bit of weight on. I think I went up to 21 stone. Then, obviously, I come back down. Then, obviously... As soon as you get that fight day, you get that more initiative to train and get that weight off, and you've got more that buzz to go in the gym. Yeah. But obviously, every single time within days or fight week, I keep getting pull-outs. Can't get the opponents. It is it is big headache. Do you know what people don't understand here, what you boxers are having to go through? Oh, you hype yourself up. You train yourself twice a day, seven days a week. Give yourself a day off here and there. But at the end of the day, when you get up there and you've got that five week, you're ready, you're just, ch just all tuned up nice and sharp. Then you start relaxing. Then when you get there, obviously the day before, 48 hours, you're ready to fight and you get no opponent. Yeah. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get back out on the 10th. And I suppose as well, it's all part of boxing, isn't it? That's it. You have to go through these little... Listen, you've got to go through these stages, isn't you? It's, listen, it's, it's like going swimming and you're not going to get wet. It's as simple as that. But, um, See, this is a McKennessy show, isn't it? McKennessy show, That'll yeah. be on Channel 5, right? Channel 5, yeah. So that's another great platform. That's before, another good so. step up. Let's obviously, keep... I boxed live before, but obviously it's still another good thing out there. Obviously, to get out there, get a bit more following. Obviously, it's been nearly two years I ain't boxed. So, obviously, I've got to build my following back up. Yeah. But I always do have a good fan base and a good support as well. And you're an exciting fighter as well, aren't you? It's... Yeah, I try to be. I try to be. Like, and you've, you've, you've been around, haven't you? She sparred Dylan White. Yeah, I sparred a few good names. Yeah. Sparred a good few good names, and obviously, listen, sparring is not the same as fighting, but I've shared the ring with a good few people. And sort of proving yourself. No, that's I mean? it, so yeah, definitely, 100%. Definitely. So, touch with, so it's, it looks like it's on for a couple of weeks. Yeah, we're on 100%, hopefully, as long as we get the opponent all locked in. Yeah. And then, where, what's your plan from there, Mayla? Get out as much as I can. Next year, I want to fight for titles. Yeah. Listen, I'm 24 now, I've matured into my weight. I'm sparring good, I'm fit, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I just need the experience. The time on your side. Just need to get a few more belts under, just get a few more rings, uh, the rounds under the belt. Yeah. That's it, go from there. And there's some cracking fights every way in there. Oh, as yeah, well. there's some good domestic fights. There's some okay, very good okay. fights. Do you know what? I'd love to see you in with Wardley. Joe, you know what? I ain't calling no names. I'm not one to call names. I'm yeah. not up that stage at the minute, obviously. I've been out for two years. But listen, whoever at the time, as soon as I have a couple of good fights, a couple of good wins, whoever's there and ready to fight, there's no excuses, I'm ready. Yes, mate. Just see my, my pillow as well. It's, it's good to see everyone sort of back again. No, that's it, honestly. I just said to me, me missus this, this tonight, I said, it's the first proper show since obviously the lockdown was lifted on me. Yeah, yeah. And obviously it's just a good buzz to get out, on it? Yeah, of course. You probably had your biggest sort of learning curve here as well, didn't you? Yeah, I did, now. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, it was a good shot. Can't cry over spilt milk. No. But I've come on leaps and bounds since that fight. I've learnt a lot. Honestly, listen, if the fight does happen in the future, it'd be a complete different Of course. Complete different outcome. And certainly for heavyweights as well. You, you, whereas before in lower weights, you could probably get yeah. away with a little shot like that. No, that's it. But you'll learn yeah, quick from it. All the big champions. 100%. It's right. Everyone's gone down. Everyone, listen, not everyone's going to get up, go down, get back up. But listen. If I go down, I'm back up. I'm ready to go. That's I'm right. not going to stay down. Yeah. At the end of the day, I've come back from that fight. I've had two or three fights since then, and I've put on a good shows. Going on from that, going about, I've got to ask you, going down and getting back up, what do you think about that Fury Wilder fight? It was a good fight, wasn't it? It was unbelievable. Do, do, do you know what? I'm trying to say that that's the only fight you sort of watch, 
and that was two people willing to die. Yeah, they were. They, listen, at the end of the day, there was no way. There was no way Fury was staying down, and even Wilder. Wilder didn't want to stay down, but he still tried his hardest, got himself up in bits and pieces. At the end of the day, listen, when you're in that ring, you've got that fighter's mentality. So it was a funny thing. Not everyone can get in there and do what we do. And fair play to Wilder. He's the only fighter I, I, I can sort of remember that's out on his feet. It's still dangerous. That's it. It's still Listen, dangerous. Anyone over the eight, uh, anyone over the weight of 15 stone, they're dangerous. Yeah. Whether they're fit, whether they're completely drained from the later rounds. Yeah. As soon as they connect with that bit of weight and they follow through with that shot, yeah. they're all dangerous, mate. Yeah. They're all dangerous. Well, listen, mate, I'll let you get on. It's, it's, it's good you've got a few guys out here, isn't you? Yeah, you we've know, got so Derek on to come to sport. Yeah, Derek's Derek right. You. Yeah. We get to see him fighting That's again. It. That's it. It's just a good little club over at Guildford, isn't it's, it? It's we, we like to come and support our stable mates. Yeah. Madison. It's a good bit of sport. We all follow each other all around the country. Yeah. So that's the way we've got to do it. And you've got a little Alfie Clegg, is he? Yeah, Alfie's fighting the same bill as me as well. Yeah, yeah he's fine. He's having his second fight. Yeah. He was meant to be up tonight as well and he couldn't get an opponent. Okay. But listen, sod's law. But as we said, We've lost it out on this show, but we've gained on the televised show. Yeah, that's right. Five, so. Sometimes these little opportunities pop that's up. That's it, definitely. Just I'm keep yourself ready. Everything happens for a reason. So if you're ready, tick them over. You'll be ready for it when you're Perfect, mate. That's it, mate. How can people follow you? Follow me on Instagram at Naylor underscore Ball. And I'm on Facebook as well, Naylor Ball. Lovely. Anything you want to finish on, mate? Well, I just want to appreciate all the sponsors and that that's helped me throughout my career. And obviously my team, John Edwards, and all my management. And I want to thank McKenzie for letting me get a chance on the show as well. Let's say that'd be a good show. That's it. it. Crystal Palace, my favourite football team. That's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> well, mate, listen, it's no good worries. to see. I can't wait to see you back in action. Thank you very much. After that order shot show, that was honestly stunning. That no, was one was, of those it fights. Was a good fight. It was. Where people like you're watching it, you, your jaw sort of like, oh, yeah. Because that's what we will come forward and watch, isn't it? A knockout. No, listen. And touch him. He was good. He was, he was all right afterwards. Yeah. I don't think he's boxing. I think he retired. No, but no. To be honest with you, when we was in that camp, we had a long camp for that fight. And everything I was doing in training, it just come together in that fight. When we got in close on the ropes, I just took that little step back and I just chopped that little sharp left hook in and followed through with the backhand. Yeah. And it just everything just worked the dream. Yeah. So, so at the end of the day, when you're training, it makes fights easy. Yes, mate. Well, that just makes perfect, mate. <laughs> mate, listen, we'll catch up with you soon, and uh, all no the worries. best, mate. In a couple of weeks. Cheers. Mate.